Hey, how's it going? We are in Proverbs chapter 15, and today we're just going to look at two verses. I think these verses are just profound, and we can spend some time talking about them. So uh, today, Proverbs 15, verses 18 and 19. So 15, 18, and 19. A hot-tempered man stirs up dissension, but a patient man calms a quarrel. The way of the sluggard is blocked with thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. I don't know. These two just really hit me because a hot-tempered man stirs up dissension. How does a hot-tempered man react to dissension? Well, they're going to react in a hot-tempered way. So the hot-tempered man creates the environment that makes him go off which is going to create that environment which makes him go off and it's just going to escalate. Um, but a patient man calms a quarrel. So the patient person creates an environment where there's less quarreling. So with patience, you know, and of course prudence and a good heart involved in that, uh, there's less quarreling so it's easier for the patient person to not end up in the middle of dissension and strife and fights and all that stuff because they actually create an environment which is in less turmoil. But the hot-tempered person creates an environment with way more turmoil. It's like a forest fire that creates its own wind that brings the oxygen in. You know, once it gets so big, it just sucks in the oxygen and it feeds the fire. You know, it's like that. Uh, and this, of course, is very similar to chapter 15, verse 1 of Proverbs. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. We see that, you know, the hot-tempered, you know, the, the harsh answer, it escalates the problem where the patient uh, person or the uh, gentle answer, you know, brings the quarrel down. It makes things easier. So I just really think it's interesting how, um, you know, the hot-tempered man creates the environment for the fights. It, it escalates the problems, but the patient person is like putting water on the fire. Then verse 19 is very similar concept, but a different, uh, <clears throat> a, a different area. You know, uh, the way of the sluggard is blocked with thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. So the lazy person has more obstacles in their way than the person who is upright, not lazy. Uh, you know, so how does that work? You know, if someone's lazy, they have more obstacles. If they're not lazy, they have less obstacles. So uh, we just had a big snowstorm. And, uh, you know, if you, if you haven't, kept up on your driveway and then you get a big snowstorm, then it's way harder to clear your driveway and to get out of your driveway. But if you've been keeping up with it the whole time, now, you know, it's not so bad this time. Uh, if you haven't cleaned the bathroom in a year and a half, it's going to take a long time to clean the bathroom. But if you keep it up, you know, it's pretty easy. Oh, doop, 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 and everything is done. And, uh, and it's, it's easy. Uh, you know, the upright sets themselves up for future success. Uh, you know, so, you know, here's a, here's a fun one. You know, if you're lazy, this can happen to people. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Maybe you can't find your tools. Maybe you can't find something. You spend a whole bunch of time trying to find it because you didn't take the two minutes necessary or the 10 seconds necessary to put things away where they should go, you know. I may have bought a tool that I couldn't find in my garage. Uh, this could be, you know, uh, we're not going to condemn the, uh, the guilty at this point. But you know what I mean? Like when you're diligent enough to just put things where they go and all that, then the next time around, it's easy. Uh, you know, it's a highway. I've started uh, rolling up all my ratchet straps. I used to just throw them in a bucket. You know, and they'd all be tangled together and it'd take you five minutes to untangle everything before you could even get started tying something down. Now I wrap them all up, put them in the bucket. They're all separate. Take one out. Whoop, you know, you're ready to go. Uh, it's just 
quicker when you're diligent. It's simpler. It's easier. You know, the way of the sluggard is blocked with thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. So, if you're lazy, it creates an environment that makes life harder. If you're hot-tempered, with the previous verse, it creates an environment where there's more strife. So the question we have, you know, if you're hot-tempered or you're lazy, you can apply, apply these directly. But then the, the bigger question is, um, how do we avoid stacking the deck against ourselves? You know what I mean? In what ways are we our own worst enemies? In what ways do we create an environment that hits our own triggers? You know, like, that's the big question. So... I want to pray that we can recognize how uh, we create an environment in our own lives that hit our own triggers or exploit our own weaknesses and then, um, and then pray that we can deal with that. Because wouldn't that be awesome? That'd be super helpful. So let's pray along these lines. Heavenly Father, um, help us to see like the hot-tempered man who creates an environment where there's dissension and strife and it makes him go off or the the sluggard the lazy person who then you know has a whole bunch of obstacles in their way because they they didn't do the due diligence to be able to uh take care of those ahead of time so now it's five times more work lord help us to see the ways that we create an environment that hit the areas of our own weakness that hit our triggers, that, that cause us to stack the deck against ourselves. So, Lord, I pray you'd give us wisdom with this. If it's the hot-tempered thing or the, um, the laziness thing or whatever it is, Lord, help us to see it, recognize what's going on, and then do what's necessary to, to be actively changing the environment around us so that we can get the victory. So, Lord, guide us in this and please give us wisdom. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.